Now notice I did not center my jar. I put it slightly off centered. That's just an arrangement thing. I do not like perfectly centering things. I learned it in photography in college to try to avoid centering. Um, now what I'm gonna do is put yellow on my paint tray, which I've already done. I'm gonna take a square brush and just a little bit of white, just a little, little bit. And I'm going to create three centers to my daisies. And I might've picked a slightly bigger brush than I needed. I'm gonna put one, two, I'm gonna get a smaller brush that is way too big. And we'll put one right over here. So now I have three centers, which I might go in and add a little bit more white and yellow to each of them. That white just makes that yellow less opaque, more solid. And also right here, I got enough white on one side that I kind of have a shadow from that yellow, which is kind of cool. So there are my centers. So next, I'm gonna take another square brush and with white, I'm gonna start adding my petals. Some of my petals I'm gonna round. And paint them in. Now, you might wanna do more than one layer. Since we are painting on a slightly darker background, you might wanna do layers of white until you get it to the white you want. Notice I'm curving that bottom and then making kind of a teardrop shape instead of connecting it straight to that flower. Mainly so we can go in and add some shadow detail here in a bit. So as I'm doing these flowers, I'm gonna turn this on a time lapse so it goes a little bit faster. So next on the flowers, you're going to take a little bit of your blue with your white, still on that primary blue, and you're just going to kind of feather it right around that center point, and even around each one of those petal edges. Just feather it in, kind of define some of those petals. Now I'm doing this as I'm also needing to still fill in some white on my petals. So that way if I go further than I want, I can fix it later. So I just have white and blue on there and I'm feathering it out from there. Now I'm gonna kind of clean that off and go back in with just white. Kind of feather that around. Obviously careful not to paint your whole petal blue. And just feather it around. Careful not to get too close to your yellow. I did not realize my yellow in there was still wet.
no right or wrong way to really feather that. I'm going to use a different brush though because that one's going to kind of fold paint. Now that might not look perfect, but I'm going to go back in with a wet paintbrush and just pure white and kind of clean that up a little bit after it dries. So that way it kind of gives me a shadow on there. I'm also going to take some of my brown, just a very little bit, and dab it onto there. But I'm going to let everything dry first, so I'm going to come back to this. Okay, so now that I've waited for that blue to dry so it won't blend in, I'm going to put some white in a paint well. And I'm going to do a second coat that kind of starts to cover up that blue, so that blue creates a shadow. So I'm just kind of lightly putting it over so I have that bluish tint underneath my white. And kind of a blue shadow right up at the edge of the yellow. Now you can go in as far as you want. You can leave as much blue as you want. I'm gonna kind of, I don't like it as much, but I understand the point of the shadow. So yeah, you can still see that blue underneath the white, but the white is dulling the blue a little bit. And then I can kind of fix where that blue faded into all my white up here, which was not my intention. I am, however, going to leave this little wisp of blue on that one, just because I kind of like that drop shadow there. And now I'm going to do that on all three, but I'm going to turn this to... So now, in order to differentiate some petals, I am going to take just a little bit of black and mix it in with that white to make a very light gray. I took a tiny brush, took a dot of black to make that, and I'm just going to, in some places, paint the edge of a petal. You can make it as thin or as thick as you want. I just want to make sure that there's some definition on some petals because otherwise they will all kind of blend together. I'm going to even add some texture to that one just to signify that that one is behind. If you feel that yours does not need this, that's fine. Don't do it. I'm just doing it to differentiate my petals just a little bit and I'm kind of blending that in. You don't want too harsh of a line. And actually I left enough white so I can go in with some white to blend that edge. So this petal is behind some of these other ones. Which is also what I'm doing with this one. Just because I want my petals to look dimensional, not just a big flat shape.
it helps that my white is still a little wet so it's blending in there. And I can kind of help my petals create some shape. And it might go on darker than it actually dries. So remember that as you put it on, if you think it's too dark, let it dry first. And like we did with that blue, you can always go back in with the white and cover some of it up. Notice I'm not adding it to every single one, just in some areas to define those different ones. Only a couple I'm blending like really intensely on. And again, it's just to add that slight detail of dimension. And putting certain petals in the foreground while others are in the background. I probably should have used a stiffer brush, but this one still works. And there you go. So there's my shadow. One more thing I'm going to do before I am done with the actual flower part. Actually, I'm going to stop the, this and I will start on the stems and middles in the next video.